Hey guys, it is Monday, July 18th, 18th already. Goodness gracious, where is July gone? Um, and this is the week six and seven recap of Summer Sock Camp. It's been crazy. Um, I have a mark, I also got my hair cut. I still, it's a lot shorter than it used to be and now my hair kind of wants to be curly, wavy. But I don't know what to do with that. So I guess if you guys have tips, let me know. I don't know. Anyways, um, I have a market this coming weekend. So the 22nd, 23rd, 23rd, 24th, whatever that Saturday, 23rd, 24th, the Saturday, Sunday. Um, if you're, it's the Iron River Blueberry Festival. So if you're in the Northwoods of Wisconsin or want an excuse to travel this coming weekend, I guess come see me. I'll have some yarn and then I'll have a couple like actually finished products for like crocheted things. I don't think I need knit things this time, but crocheted things. So I'm gonna have like the towels with the towel topper, reusable water balloons, um, hair bows, and whatever else I can kind of scrounge up in the next what, four or five days. But yeah, so it's been crazy over here getting ready for that. Um, so also with that, as of right now, everything on my website as far as yarn, uh, ready to ship stuff is down right now. It will go back up after this weekend, so probably Tuesday. It'll all go back up, excuse me, with like updated quantities, all that stuff. So, because my fear is if I leave it up, Somebody will buy something at the market festival thing and then somebody will buy it online and then people online won't actually get it, especially for my Once Upon a Die, which are one of a kind colorways, which are non-repeatable. So we're just gonna avoid that. So if you are at the market, grab it. If not, hopefully it'll still be there afterwards. Yeah, so that's that. Um, I finished one pair of socks. I guess I should also say my name is Kimber from Kimber's Cozy Creations. Um, hand dyed yarn, working on some patterns, all that stuff, aka Hot Mess Express. It's been a wild ride over here this summer, but it's been hot. Today is like 85 out there. It's terrible. I don't like it. My MS doesn't like it, but we're making it work. So anyways, I finished one pair of socks and it is my lily pad socks. This is one of my new colorways. Um, that looks good. It's blue. I got new lights down here in the studio, which is great for like actually working on stuff. But right now it feels like everything's blowing out quite a bit. So I might have to refigure that even there's one like right here I put a piece of paper over it to diffuse it a little bit because it was really really bright um I'm hoping to get my studio cleaned up kind of this next week or two and have like a little YouTube corner where it's like just for well I can knit and stuff there but it's like gonna be geared towards recording videos so hopefully we can get the lighting all figured out there but anyways so I'll do my best today so this is Lily Pad. It is my own hand dyed yarn, Kimber's Cozy Creations, and it is one of my new colorways. Um, so I did contrast toe, and then three rounds of the main color, and then two rounds of the contrast, then a shadow wrap heel. I think it was like three rounds of the contrast at the cuff just for a little pop. So they're shorty socks, which is my go-to. Um, last time I had this one all done, and then I was up to here on the other one. So I just finished this part since the last two weeks. Um, I last, on July 1st, I had six new colorways. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven new colorways go up in the shop. Um, they're all up there right now for dye to order. Um, last video, so week four and five recap, I did a little 
preview at the end of it. So if you're interested to see what the other ones are, go check it out. But this is Lily Pad. It's probably one of my favorites. Like I said, it's kind of blowing out. That's better. Yeah, I'll get the lighting stuff figured out, hopefully, for next time. But we'll see. So there's another completed pair. So now I'm at four pairs for Summer Sock Camp as of right now. Um, which is pretty good, I think. And then I have one, two, three, four more pairs on the needles. So we'll jump into those guys. This is, these are the boyfriend socks. Um, it is West Yorkshire Spinners. West, yeah. I believe West Yorkshire Spinners. I, I don't know why I have such a hard time remembering this one. The rest of them are fine. I can remember those. Yes, West Yorkshire Spinners. That's their four flies. The colorway peacock. Um, but this is where I was last time. And from this blue one, it's really hard to see. That has all been the flegal heel increases. So right now, I'm at the point, you can kind of see, it's hard to show on nine inch circulars, but it increased. So now I'm at the point of turning the heel, I guess, technically. It's this, so it like increases, and then at this point it's a bunch of short rows, I guess, technically. I don't know what they're technically called. I think short rows, um, but it basically turns the heel to go up. Um, so I'm at that point. So I'm almost done. So I'm just about, once I get that, it'll just be the cuff, which is what? 45-ish rounds of two by two ribbing for the cuff and then they're done. So that's not too bad. Um, but yeah, just a basic vanilla. Did yarn over increased toe and then just vanilla and then the flegal heel and then it'll be two by two ribbing for the cuff. Um, these were supposed to be mine, but then I start, I forgot how much the flegal heel adds to the length in the foot before you actually turn the heel. So they're now the boyfriend socks because his feet are bigger than mine. But then they also feel like they're taking forever because they take so long. They're ginormous. Um, but so hopefully these will be at least past the heel halfway through the cuff. We'll go halfway through the cuff um, next time I record, which will probably be in two weeks, if we're being honest. Because I have the market this weekend, I have a doctor's appointment on Monday. Maybe later next week, I don't know. We'll figure it out. Also with that, if you guys, because I'm trying real hard to have a set schedule, but that just doesn't work for me right now. So if you wanna make sure you're not missing anything, make sure you subscribe and like hit the little bell icon notification thing so that you'll know when I post a video. I try to be consistent, but it's just not my thing right now. Um, hopefully, hopefully once the summer is done, it'll be better, but I can't guarantee that. So if you don't, if you wanna make sure you don't miss anything, subscribe and do the little bell icon thing for notifications. So, yeah. So that's one pair of socks that's kind of in the works there. Um, we'll do these ones next. Oh goodness. Just a tangled yarn mess down here. Um, so last video I finished my wildflower seeds socks using the picking one of flowers share a pair from Mandy's Makings and I have enough left over that I am doing a pair of journey socks. Um, so I started those. Goodness, yeah, there we go. I say it's blowing out just a little bit. It's not quite as bright, but so this top one has the heel is the speckled and the body or the foot of the sock is going to be the blue and then the toe will be back to the speckle and then the other ones just the opposite. So I haven't yet, um, it's an interesting construction for the journey socks because they are like mega no-show, super no-show, 
whatever. They're super shorty no-show socks. Um, so I'm almost, well, yeah, almost just to joining in the round for the journey socks. And then usually once I get past that, they, they just fly. Um, so again, this is the Picking Wildflowers share of hair from Mandy's Makings. They're super cute. Let's see if I can get that to, yeah, just a white with speckles, but it's super blowing out. I'll have to, I was thinking the more lights would kind of help, but they're kind of making it worse. We'll figure that out. It's a work in progress over here all the time. So that's another new pair. And then, um, and these guys are another new pair. So I have three new pairs, which is the journey ones, these ones, and then the next ones. The boyfriend socks, I've been working on those since like week two. They're taking a while. But we'll get through it. We'll finish it before August 31st, I hope. <laughs> um, this is another pair. So it's two at a time, toe up, basic vanilla. Um, this toe is really blowing out, goodness. It's like a super, it's neon. It's, I'm not surprised it's blowing out so much. I wish it wasn't, but anyways, focus. Maybe. Um, so this yarn is from Inked Sheep Fibers. I'm pretty sure they are taking a break from dyeing yarn right now. That shows it. It's in focus, but this is still really blowing out. It's a super neon yellow and like kind of darker green. They're in the shadow. You can kind of see it a little bit better. Um, then just blue pink. But I'm pretty sure they're taking a break from dyeing yarn right now. Um, but this was from summer of 2019, I'm pretty sure. It was a... Uh, they did a mystery club for a while. Um, so this was just one of the... One of the club colorways. So it's non-repeatable. but Not available for purchase. But like I said, I think she's... I think they're taking a break right now. So can't get it anyways but I will still link their Instagram and stuff below because they're really cool um I have quite a bit of their stuff but I really enjoy it and then so that one is just a toe up two at a time vanilla because everything I've been working on well the past couple sock uh pairs have been one at a time which just isn't my thing I don't like it um, cause I get done with the one sock and then I'm excited that I'm done and I get to cast on a new pair and stuff, but then I still have to knit the whole other sock. So for me, I like doing two at a time and then I get to work with the yarn and enjoy it. But then when I'm done, I can cast on another pair of socks like right away and enjoy some other yarn. So two at a time is more my thing. Um, I have two more sock patterns I think just two me no three I need to check how far I am on my because like my very first video I went over like what my plans were for summer stock camp and I think I only have two or three left of that which is pretty good I think um because I think I've only two socks so far have been yeah two socks so far have been not part of my original plan which are my lily pad socks and that's just because I had this new collection I wanted to knit up all of them as socks and then that didn't happen so I just got the one pair done um and then the next one I'm going to show you were not originally planned but all the other ones I've been working on so far are like part of the original yarn plan which is really exciting because I'm very much like ooh new shiny type of person no matter how much i plan stuff out i usually get distracted by whatever new yarn i get or i'll see something else in my stash and want to knit that instead so pretty good not gonna lie yeah i'm gonna have to look at that next time i record i'll kind of give an update on how i'm doing as far as like what i planned at the very beginning to what i've actually done so far so that'll be exciting. I didn't realize I had that many. Huh. 
go me. Um, but speaking of new and shiny, <laughs> this next pair is a DK pair of socks. Um, cause I found my empty DK sock needles and was like, well, we can't have that. And then I just got yarn from sock obsession. Um, and I had some DK sock yarn in there. So I was like, well, we have to cast that on obviously. Um, but this is, this is it caked up. This is scattered indigo is the name of the colorway. Um, pretty sure it's, yeah, scattered indigo. Here's her, her here's there, there's the front and then the back. Right now it show like when I see it on my little screen, it's backwards. So I hope when I actually upload it, it's not. Um, but it is a 75-25 superwash merino nylon for ply 100 grams, 254 yards. Um, but scattered indigo is the colorway. And we got this much done so far. Again, not with the with the not focusing thing here. I don't know how. Okay, there we go. So I remember last video I talked about with my ink sheep fibers. I wanted to do like the the seed stitch kind of column on it, but those I ended up doing vanilla. So I'm doing it on my DK weight ones. So it's just, so I do 48 stitches for my DK socks. So the front is just, there are 24 on each needle. So the front I just did eight regular, um, then eight stitches of seed stitch and then eight regular. And then the back is just straight stockinette. And I'm really liking how it's turning out. Um, I wasn't sure, like in my mind it was awesome. It's, it was awesome. But as I like worked up the first couple of rows, I was like, hmm, I don't know if this is gonna be quite what I wanted it to be, but I'm really enjoying it. It's nice cause it's still very vanilla, like basic, no thinking kind of knitting, but it gives it a little bit of a texture and like a fun pop of, fun pop of fun, I guess. Um, so yeah, those are the DK ones. This is Scattered Indigo by Sock Obsession. Um, and then that's all the sock whips I have. So that's what, one, two, three, four whips right now. Um, the one completed pair this week. It is so hot, I'm so sorry. I'm just like sweating, it's gross. Um, so like I said, I have the market this coming weekend, doctor's appointment Monday, and then next Saturday, so the 30th, pretty sure it's the 30th, whatever that next Saturday, yeah, 30th. Um, my mom, boyfriend, and I are going down to Oklahoma to visit my aunt for a week, so I will be out of state for a week, which will be nice, um, just to have a vacation, get away from everything for a little bit. So I'm predicting that week is gonna have a lot of knitting time, hopefully. Um, Cause I do know on the way down, it's, what, probably a what, nine, 17 hour drive there, 17, 18 hours. So we're splitting it up into two days. So the first day we're driving about nine hours and then camping for the night and then driving the rest of it. So that first day I'm hoping to knit a whole sock. I'm probably gonna do it over on my Instagram stories, do like start the day with me and then just see how much I can knit in that day. And then nine hours we're in the car. Um, and that I'm pretty sure is gonna be a self-striping and it's going to be my, pretty sure it's Malia made it. It's one of the ones that I started like at the beginning of summer sock camp was like one of my goals. And I'm like, I'm gonna do that one. It's a self-striping, I'm gonna do it where the row that switches colors, the knit one, slip one, just so it keeps it a little fun, I guess. Um, and we'll see how far I get on that in that one day. At first I was gonna do a whole pair in a day and that's just crazy. I think one sock in a day is reasonable, especially since I'm gonna be in the car all day and I won't, it's not like I'll get distracted by everything else. So we'll see how that goes. So if you wanna tag along on that journey, <laughs> um, go follow me on Instagram and then links will be down below. 
so I think that's I think that's it for today another loop around the hot mess express um there's so much going on right now it's crazy but yay go team um so I guess that's it for today I will see you all next time if you have any questions comments concerns any suggestions to tame this wants to be curly and wavy but not hair let me know because usually like it's always been so long and heavy because I got it cut and then thinned out so it's always been so long and heavy that it's always been just like straight and it always had like the little baby curls like right here and then at the base of your neck base of your scalp whatever um but now that it's shorter it's actually wanting to try to do something I just don't know what that is or what to do with it so if you have suggestions <laughs> let me know um but I will see you guys next time bye